Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to Part 2 of Let's Play Mario Search for the Eight Jewels, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, it's time for us to enter the woods here, and I'm not talking about the Tiger Woods either. I don't think I would ever want to enter that because I'd probably have to deal with a lot of jealousy for high golf skills. I don't know. I didn't do that great at the driving range because my dad told me to swing in a certain side. Even though I swing on the left side, he kept telling me to swing on the right side because apparently those were the only clubs he had with us at the time. I'm more of a mini golf kind of guy. Even if I'm playing Mario Golf. Well, in terms of Mario Golf, I am still a little bit rusty. I remember when I used to play that game a lot back in the uh, late 90s and early 2000s. That game was amazing. I even had Toadstool Tour for the GameCube, and I've long since sold it. Too bad, I would've liked to get back into that game again someday. Oh well, at least I have a Mario Golf on my Nintendo Wii Virtual Console. Alright, time to enter Brown Cave, which I also name my ass if I don't clean myself. Uh, that's TMI right there. I wonder if anybody actually names their ass Brown Cave. Hey baby, wanna do anal in, my, in your brown cave or something? Ah, that's gross. I think I just traumatized everybody with that one little mental image right there. Can you imagine if you just if you just broke all those blocks without hitting the vine, and you'd be stuck? That seems like a little bit of a design. Whoa! Excuse me. I just went right through the ceiling right there. Okay, that was a little bit of a design flaw as well. Why do I have a feeling there's gonna be a key behind one of these? Like when you're caught behind the foreground? I bet, yeah, there's gonna be a key lying around in that very spot. Apparently this place has two exits, so I gotta be on the lookout. Or I could at least just go for one exit and then deal with the other one later. It seems like a very fair strategy. And kill some enemies, because can. And I'm not talking about canned mushrooms or canned tuna, that kind of stuff. I mean can as in want to! Scary house! Space! Exclamation points! No! I don't trust any uh, level that has a punctuation mark at the end to actually name its level. So I'm just gonna stay here for a little while. Until I find the secret exit. And I bet you it involves that door. I might as well just get those coins again, because, you know, maybe I could use another one up. I mean, it's not like I'm rewinding and save stating all that much. Unless I'm very deep into a level, then it's kinda justified in my, uh, entitled sense of opinion. Yeah, I said it. I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you guys. And I have a feeling I might have to use you. I'm hoping I don't have to. Oh my god, I think I do. Oh, this is gonna be a chore. Let me get that enemy off screen. I think I know what needs to be done. This is actually pretty neat. No, don't you even think about jumping. I never thought he would have the ingenuity to force you to use a Charging Chuck's attack pattern exactly like that. I gotta admit, that is pretty cool. Usually some secret exits and certain hacks are too easy to find, but that one required a fair bit of ingenuity. The Tiny Tower, which is also a nickname from- I uh, no, that's nothing that belongs to me. Anyways, let's move on here, because I'm starting to feel a little bit inadequate now, because I almost put myself in that situation. But I'm pretty sure some vindictive woman names her ex-boyfriend's penis the uh, Tiny Tower. Or probably as lowly as a hamlet. I don't know. Then again, a hamlet is like a small village, really. So does he have, like, a multiple peni? And that, no, that's not the proper plural. Yeah, it's been a long time since I graduated from college. Then again, I was doing computer programming, not exactly English. 
that being said, why is there like a whole bunch of yellow switches here? Well, I can understand it because sometimes you might want to incapacitate the thwomp and I think I just totally destroyed the frame right there. <coughs> Bless me. Wow, this tower really is tiny. It was just a bit of a short climb. But it's designed pretty nice, I will admit. Then again, when it comes to certain ROM hacks, I'm easy to impress. I'm pretty sure some people were not exactly a fan of the uh, level design here. And I think people just ask for a bit too much when it comes to Mario hacks. Oh, dear God. Fire bros. I just have to wait for the right spot. Oh, they're in the same area. Wait, wait, this is a good chance. Beautiful. Tactical strike. So glad I did not go to the left side of those uh, spike columns. Then again, I don't think they can hit you in that position. Oh, there's a Star World here. Why don't we go check it out? Special level one? I think we earned it. After entering this pipe, every second we'll take away one coin. Model 7 used to do a lot of levels like these and other hacks. That means I have to be quick. And I'm not looking forward to that. Because as soon as those, uh, the coin total gets to zero, you die. Yes, apparently your life essence is money. I bet you Scrooge McDuck thinks that same way as well. This would have been nice to have a fire flower, because I can turn all these enemies into money. Oh, sh shoot! I did not think I was that low. Yeah, I think I should just grab that for pity's sake. I only grabbed two out of there, but that's alright. I'd rather grab two than grab four and die. Oh, crap. Excuse me? I could not hit that one block? Because of the damn slope? Why did I do that? Yep, dumbass move, Bonga. Just do a spin jump on a Koopa while that's walking on munchers. Nice job. Wait. I have a bad feeling about this, because what if the secret exit involves a Switch Palace? I just have to check down here. Okay, I see it now. So yeah, apparently there's a key. And it makes you small? Well, that's weird. Alright, so... There was a key here. That means you have to have a lot of coins in order to get through it. I am not looking forward to this. But, I gotta try. <laughs> Bring it on. Excuse me? I could not get those? Okay, now this game is just trying to josh me. I don't like that. Oh my god, this level is just so stressful. Because you're on perpetual danger the whole time. You have little room to relax. Because just the tiniest mistake, and I'm pretty sure I just made another one right there, will cost you. And being small doesn't help because you have less wiggle room to get those coins. Yeah, I I did... I, I did way too poorly there. I can't justify that. Why do I keep going that way when I should be going... WHAT?! Did I just clip through the wall?! I did clip through the wall! I did not think I was going that fast! Just breaking speed barriers here! Mario is dangerous! Even to himself! Okay, so there wasn't a key here! Okay, just run for it. 
Run, Mario, run! <laughs> what? Oh my god, are you serious? That was way too close. I think I could actually make it. So yeah, that secret exit's dangerous. Oh my god, look at that timer. Oh my god, they actually had a secret exit like this. Lakitu's revenge? Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna wait. Maybe I should just, like, find the other Star Warps, then do the levels that connect to them, and do it like that. Yeah, that's how I roll. Scary house. So let's see how scary this place is. Levels with an exclamation in the name have got a secret exit. More like, uh, have got a secret exit. I cannot see why you could not fit that in three lines instead of four. That's just a lot of spacing. There, there's just more space in that message box than above the earth, like through the ozone layer. Holy crap. Anyways, so we have to look for a secret exit. I... Nope, that's just a one up. I already got 21 lives, so I have nothing to worry about. Actually, I'd have a lot less if I wasn't using rewinds at all throughout the uh, bonus level. Jeez, that was just stress. Okay, I see the keyhole. That was actually very easy to find. Maybe a bit too easy. The pirate ship! That also has a secret exit. And let's just go back at the normal exit in Scary House. Maybe they put the space in between the last letter of the last word with an exclamation point. Just to make it look more distinguishable. Otherwise, it would probably just blend in if the exclamation point was just right there without a space. Maybe that's his perspective. Pretty much just solving the riddle that spinks through Mao 7's hacking head on how he plans things. By the way, every time I played one of his ROM hacks, I do get highly impressed. Like, just a lot of work gets involved. Even back in 2010, he doesn't leave anything to chance. Which I highly enjoy. Some hacks I've played before were way too sloppy. Way too repetitive. I still remember one time that I played some guy's hack. And one level was pretty much just swimming in this two-space area. That's on, with flank with munchers on the top and the bottom. You had to do that the entire level. So this whole time you was just holding down and kept hitting B. Just make sure you didn't go too high or too low. And that was the entire stage! And it wasn't a short level either! It was just like a standard length stage. Probably as long as the original Donut Secret Level 1. Scary Woods. Is that Tiger Woods during Halloween? I don't know. But, oh dear god, bony plants. Which sounds like a very scary moment for a vegetarian. Well, I was eating this salad and I just ate the bones. What the hell? And apparently the Goombas are now one-eyed freaks. And that was bad. I think that was the scary part of Scary Woods, making that stupid death happen. That was very shameful. Alright, so there's barely any pipes you can go down to find coins or power-ups or one-ups. And is that really it? Is, is that the... Oh no, there's more. Which is strange. Wait a minute. Oh, there was just another mushroom. Hope this is a good idea. And indeed it was. Oh. It's just pretty much a glorified outside ghost house. I don't recognize this music either, I'm sorry. 
Wait a minute, why am I apologizing for this? I mean, just because I've been Let's Playing for almost five years now, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm old in the Let's Play universe. The tender senior citizen age of 26. But, I mean, I don't know every single game music. Because I haven't played every single game. Even though if you look through my Let's Play library, it seems that way. Northern Hills. Alright, let's do this. With more Pokemon music. Let's go. Whoa, I'm not gonna get involved with you. Okay, now, what? You are immune to thrown enemies? Okay, this is just a scary world. I don't know if I want to live here anymore. Oh, look, 69. What, am, what can I say? Usually when you mention 69, you get an instant fan base increase of, like, like, two people. And they're not always men, either. Excuse me? Okay, for some reason, I can't make that jump safely. So I'm just not going to make it at all. I think I might have missed a Yoshi coin because it's been a while since I grabbed one. I really don't like Hammer Brothers because they're so annoying to deal with. Another thing I noticed, there's barely any of these blocks that have multiple coins in them. All you find in these blocks are usually coins or mushrooms and that's it. In fact, I don't think I even found a P-Switch in them! Or a star! Maybe... no, I haven't seen a 1-Up! Because usually you see the 1-Ups out in the open. They're never out in these blocks. I hardly see any invisible blocks, either. I mean, I love Model 7's hacks, but they seem... well, if I had, like, one criticism... They seem like they don't have a lot of meat to them. Like, you don't see any checkpoints, you don't see any of the things that I previously mentioned. Like, they just keep it simple and put a lot of detail in the level design, but not a lot of stuff goes into them. I just don't know why that is, but it is. Uh, Mudkip's Island? So, you heard I like this place? No, I don't. Oh, great, now the Goombas are pretty much... Well, guess Mudkips don't like me either. Yeah, the Mudkip locked up my B button and caused me to fall to my death. Yeah, it was all the Mudkips' fault. I abstained from all responsibility as a result of that death. And of course, we have some more Donkey Kong Country 1 music. Ah, what the hell, Mudkip, I might as well use you. Mudkip, use double edge! It killed itself from recoil. I don't think Mudkip can ever learn Double Edge. Uh, maybe Swamp Birds can. But then again, I'm not usually one that likes to use Double Edge. Oh, apparently there actually was hidden Kaizo blocks. Hey, Monkey from Yoshi's Island. Ukiki. Alright, so apparently there are blue coins here for no reason. But I'm not going to complain, because at least it's something different. Oh, I would have liked to make that work. Oh, never mind. I killed two mudkips, and then I just had a banana hit me right in the noggin. I guess I really do have potassium on my mind after all. But for all the wrong reasons. Okay, for some reason I can walk by this pillar, but I can't walk through the other. They, they look the same. Well, they're different in height, but come on. Just little subtleties. Well, I think I just gained two lives from that. Castle 2, I'm going to save for later. But for now... Do I have time... to do the pirate ship? I think I should actually do it. You know what? Why not? If there's no checkpoints, I mean, the levels are gonna be short any... way. If I keep this up, my life is also gonna be very short. Okay, this is a lie. They said this place is called the Pirate Ship, but I see two. Not calling it the Pirate Ships. That's just bullshit. Minus one star. <laughs> and I just saw a little bit of a graphic glitch there, but that's okay. Nothing fatal. 
I mean, I've dealt with hacks that actually had fatal errors. Okay, I, I like this rendition of the final boss theme with Donkey Kong Country 1. But it almost sounds like two beats going together in different synchronizations. So it seems good, but a little messy at the same time. But, you, you know, that's just my opinion. I'll just take that secret exit. Thank you very much. And that leads to the Green Switch Palace. That's probably going to be the last thing I do in this video. But for now, let's go back here. Get the normal exit. I might as well just grab that in case I make a dumbass mistake again. And if I do, I'll just go back for the other mushroom. And again, that may not even matter. So I might as well not bother with slowing down too much, because we already seen most of this. It just seems so simple. Which is good in some points, but flat in others. I mean, don't get me wrong, if I was dating a chick who was flat, as long as she had a nice personality, I'd still enjoy it. And this hack at times can be flat, but has a great personality and level detail. Just as long as this hack doesn't turn out to be an absolute bitch and try to spend all my money, <laughs> then we're okay. Just wait till we get to that point. But anyways, let's just focus on finishing this level here. Can I take a Goomba to sacrifice it for his life force and absorb him to my own? Probably not yet. But I've noticed I usually find enemies right by the exits. Because I know you want to use them for one-ups. And they just give you way too many opportunities for that. Like it's generous, but can be a bit cheap. Maybe I am hard to please after all. What? Whoa, crap. I did not know we were going to be dealing with that. There we go. Enemies dealt with. They kind of remind me of those cannon shy guys from uh, Partners in Time. That was a good LP, but was mired in a little bit of slowness. Yep, I said I was going to do the Green Switch Palace, and that's going to be the last level I do in the stage. And I think I'm going to hold true to that. Then again, these levels are very short and way too easy, and they have absolutely no hazards. Alright, so I guess we're going to stop the video here. And in the next episode, wait a minute, I forgot to go back to Mario's house. Maybe I should do that instead. Because I did get the Yellow Switch Palace earlier. But I have this feeling I might need all of the Switch Palaces activated. So why don't I do that first? Oh, Mario's ship, sorry. I just had this nagging feeling I'm going to need all Switch Palaces. Yep, I thought so. It was a bad idea to come back. But anyways, I will officially stop the video here. Next part, we're going to the large bridge, and then Castle 2. Goodbye, everyone.